Number 26. When heated to 700 to 800 degrees Celsius, diamonds, which are pure carbon, are oxidized by atmospheric oxygen. They burn. Woohoo! Write the balanced equation for this reaction. Okay. So, looks like we have a reaction between diamonds, and they told us that diamonds are pure carbon. So, in retrospect, right? When somebody, you know, gets engaged and they show you their beautiful diamond ring that was, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, you could just laugh in their face and say, diamonds are just carbon. Why is it so expensive? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I got for you. But yeah, diamonds are just literally one element. It's, it's just carbon, right? That's all that they are. They just sparkle in the light, right? So diamonds are carbon. And they're going to be oxidized when they react with oxygen. Now, oxygen by itself, like being pure, right? Is oxygen just O or is it something else? Yeah, oxygen is O2, right? Oxygen air, well, the oxygen in the air, it's O2 because oxygen is a diatomic. And I didn't give myself too much for that diatomic. Okay. Now I don't write C2 because carbon is not on my list of diatomics. It would be just C, pure carbon. So it looks like I have pure carbon C plus O2, right? The reaction is with carbon is reacting, in this case, they gave us a cool word. They said oxidized, but in, in you know retrospect, carbon is just being reacted with oxygen, right? So C plus O2 will yield something. Now, if we just need to give the states, right? A diamond is literally just a solid, right? If I can see a diamond, it's in a solid form, right? And th that means that the carbon is in a solid form as well. And oxygen, if it's in the atmosphere, it would be a gas. So those are our states. And now they say when they come in contact with each other, they burn. That should be sending red flags, right? Burning is a characteristic of a combustion reaction. I think we went over combustion reactions, right? Combustion reactions always make carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide comes from the carbon and the water comes from the hydrogen, right? So C for carbon dioxide, um, H for the water. Now in this case, I only have a C and an O. So could I make carbon dioxide? Yeah, I can make carbon dioxide. So I can say CO2. That's one product of something that burns right? That undergoes combustion. But can I make water, right? Because those are the two typical products of a combustion reaction. But I can't make water because I don't have any hydrogen in my reactants. I just have C and I just have O. So I got to strip away the H2O. Now let's add a state here. Carbon dioxide is a gas, especially if it, if it burns, right? There you go. So this was a kind of co a combustion because they said that it burned, but it also was a formation reaction because I took two things together. I took my carbon and I fused it with the uh, with the oxygen and I got carbon dioxide. And now just make sure if you, you know, balance the equation, but it's already balanced. I have one carbon. I got one carbon. I got two oxygens. I got two oxygens. So this is the answer, my friends. That's it. That's all I got for you. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. And if not, that's okay. Still love you guys anyway. And hopefully I'll get your, maybe, uh, press the subscribe button maybe on the next video. But that's okay. All right? I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.